There are way too many skills in EVE and you have no idea which ones to pick first. In this video, I'm going to give you a guide on how to pick the right skills so you can build the ship you want. Ladies and gentlemen, name's Loru, digital advertiser, EVE enjoyer. For the better part of 10 years now, and this is the skill tree. This is my skill tree. You can see we're training out to when I'm dead. The point is, don't look at that. That stresses me out even to this day. Let's talk about skills and how you're going to do stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is be able to plan exactly which skills you want. So you're going to come over to the ship tree. I have it open here, but just to show you where it is, you're going to come to our Neocom menu. You're going to go down to ship, ship tree, and it's going to, and it's going to open up the ship tree. If you don't have already it, it open. Okay. You're going to navigate to the race that you would like in the top left corner here. I know my face is covering it, but it's right here. I'm a Galente boy. So we're going right for Galente and you're going to pick a ship. So this is going to be true. Even if you're a veteran player, or if you're just starting out, let's say I want to fly a Vexor. A Vexor is one of the ships that I really started out with. It's a staple of the Galente Navy, one of my favorite ships. So you're going to right click this show in show info, and you're going to come over to traits. Okay. Right here is going to be the overall, what is the ship good for? What is it good for? Not absolutely nothing. Let's see what it is. This is a drone boat. Okay. It's an armor focused, not shield focused. This is a combat ship. Very good at like taking damage, but also dishing out damage. It's going to use hybrid turrets and it's a medium ship. So anything with a medium class is going to be able to fit on this. So this is a nice way of going. Hmm, if you're kind of going, what is this ship for? There's too many options. How do I do this? Here's what those ships are for. But Loru, you said it was about skills. I'm getting to that. Okay. Now that you've picked your ship based on the characteristics of said ship, you're going to come down to mastery and think of now I have mastery four for most of these because I'm playing the game for a long time. Think of these as a shopping list for your skills. In order to be able to fly the base ship of the Vexor, rank one mastery, you can get all of these skills, all of them. This is what you're going to be training. So here's your first big, big tip is find the ship you want to fly. Use the mastery tab as your shopping list. Okay. So, and as you move up the chain, you're going to notice there's going to be more skills and there's going to be more ranks of the same skills that you've got. With that said, there's a bunch of skills here. And when you're just starting out, really, which ones do you start with? Well, you start with the skills that are ship agnostic. Now I know I just said, pick a ship, go after that ship. But when you're new, especially when you're an, an intermediate player, you want to be able to bounce around ships. I have quite a few ships in just this station alone, each one of them with a different function, shield, armor, guns, drone, mining, combat, exploration, it doesn't matter. Here's how you pick the ones that are going to help you the most in the long run. And those are the skills that are not ship specific. They're ship agnostic. So armor, get your tank up. No matter what happens, all of my ships have a 5% reduction to armor plate mass. If I, if I fit those things, my EM is going to increase my tank. If I fit those things, my repair systems are better. No matter the ship, my, uh, is this whole strength for mechanics bonus to structure hit points, no matter the ship, this kind of stuff, feel free to screenshot this, your armor, take it to four and fives, your navigation. This is no matter the ship you're in, you're going to need some kind of sub warp ship velocity. All of this stuff is going to be little upgrades for your ship. It's going to really squeeze squeeze the value out of each and every ship you have. So armor, navigation, shields also, they are ship agnostic. So really this top row is going to be a really good start for you. You're going to notice something on my skills. See how my missiles are non-existent? I don't do missiles. Never flown them. Not really interested in any missile ships. But my gunnery, some of the bigger gunnery skills I have, like rapid firing and sharpshootering, sharpshootering, those are at five, even though this is a big skill. This took me many, many days to days, if not weeks to train. Why that is, is because I'm a turret slash drone focused character on this guy. And motion prediction is going to benefit every turret 5% bonus to all weapon turrets versus medium railgun specialization is obviously only for medium railgun that's it. Here's how to do it again. Just to summarize, find the ship you want to fly, go into the information, see if it's the kind of ship you want with that. Go into the mastery tab. Use this as your like shopping list. Prioritize the skills that are ship agnostic and enjoy. Eve is a big world. Allow yourself to like have the time to learn stuff because even though you're tempted 
to buy skill points and just go right into a ship. I highly recommend you start with the lower ships, fly them, practice them out, do some level threes before you hop into some level fours, especially if you're new, and then get comfy because how you fly a ship is just as important as the skills you have coming in a future video. If you enjoyed, make sure you press like and subscribe. But There's going to be some videos coming up in just a moment that you can click on for some more EVE content. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.